all right guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be setting free a, a few goodies that i got in the mail some i bought before we start if you've watched my previous video my hydro dipping disaster the castings are nice and clean ready for paint again so i should start on that video pretty soon again so where do we start well let's start with these pick these up at target I'm not a big fan especially these two but i need i might need the wheels turns out these wheels are perfect when you try to restore 1980s hot wheels black wall so you have some nice brand new wheels because i don't think I don't think you can buy them anywhere. And they're I'm not I'm not an expert on that subject, but to me they look to be exactly the same as in the 1980s. If you know then they're, they're not the same, let me know in the comments what makes them different. But see these are the axles are long enough so Check this one out, see? They should fit many 1980s casting. This one I bought because it's a bone shaker. Come on now. Black wall bone shaker. Every time I go to Target and I see one, I buy it. I think I have already like five of these. And I open all of them. I don't know why. But I like it. I like it, buddy. Come on now. The Mustang. 65 Ford Mustang. Like the color. I think this blue works very nice in this car. You got an opening hood here. Very tight. Look at the engine. And the paint did not get scratched. So. I keep opening and closing it, it should perfect. Again, the wheels, of course, this one I'm not, they got plastic base. I'm not gonna drill this one apart. This is gonna go into my uh, Mustang collection. I think I have it already, but I don't know. There's something about that blue I like. Now, last night I went to uh, Walmart after work, found these. This is the new Jeep, the JL 2018. But I think the first one that came out was green. See, this one is in black, actually like a metallic black with the Skyjacker logo here on the side. They did a very nice job with this Jeep. Spare tire, mm, they tend to, they've done, they've been doing this mistake for a while now, where you can see the, the matchbox is backwards. See? I don't know how, why don't they fix it? It's not backwards. On the actual wheels, see it says matchbox only backwards on the spare tire. I think it's gotta be something with the molding that it turns out to be backwards. They should fix it. The nineteen forty eight Willys Jeepster. This thing is cool. Kinda like the color too. It's a weird yellow. I don't like the wheels though. Look at the details here in the back. Ooh, it's scratched. Look at that tail light. Battle scar. That's gonna stay just like that. So I'm gonna do a wheel swap on this. Look, it has the seat belts there. Manual transmission, of course. 
It ain't a real Jeep if it doesn't have a manual transmission. There was no automatic back in the days. Come on now. This colorful Mustang here, 67 Ford Mustang Coupe. Multicolor. Colorful art inspired vehicles ready to paint the town. Weird little Mustang here. This casting will look so nice if they use same size, same size wheels. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Why exactly? Why are the wheels the same size? Come on now. The Mazda RX-7, green color, end case. You know. My target has been getting the end case, which is the case with the first two Bugattis, and I haven't been able to find one. This is going to go with my nice Mazda RX or rotary engine collection. I guess I got a different models of Mazda. So these two I got from um, Hot Wheels Collector 13 on Instagram. I won this in a raffle. I got this one for free. The same Mac, Austin Martin one. These uh, really don't open because uh, I don't have a place for it in my collection. So I just I store that away, just like that. The Bugatti. Uh, he even sent it in a protection here. I haven't been able to find another one. When I find another one, I'll open one of them. And of course, I'll do a custom. You gotta do a custom with a Bugatti. Let me show you something. All right. This is the new one. This is a Bugatti Chiron. Let me see if I get some light there so you can see it. Chiron. The first Bugatti Hot Wheels did was this one. The Bugatti Bayron and this is a custom this one used to be like this this one was in rough rough shape I do believe I have a video on it if you want to go check it out I'll try to put a link up in the corner and let's continue with the video here I put this uh, Bugatti back in the protecto here. I'm trying to do a one take video here. Found this one in Walmart last night. If I you check my community, I went back to Walmart like I already mentioned, and there was another one. I didn't buy it. Uh, these are. Uh, Chevy step side or fleet side as uh, Auto World calls them. This one says Cheyenne step side. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of those. Not big, and I'm talking about the casting, I'm talking about the real truck. This is wasted space that you lose inside the cab, I mean, inside the bed. That's why most likely you don't like it. This one, this one is going to be a custom. No drill apart. I already have a video. I already know of the the ones I like. I drill it apart, so I know this part, the bed, has two rivets connecting it to the cap. So I'm taking that off, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know if I should turn it into a uh, flatbed tow truck. It's gonna be something. Whatever it is, I'm gonna try to keep the original, the original paint. I like this old looking red with the white roof. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas or suggestions. To finish off my last winnings from Hot Wheels Collector. So if you if you do his uh, raffles, right? and you don't win 
let's say that you don't win he takes everybody's name at the end of the month and he does a free raffle for everybody that's you know that participated in his rifle so at the end of last month he did a raffle and he was going to pick three winners so he has his son pick out a uh, numbers and i came up as a second second uh chance winner and when it came to pick he sent this one for free which i love when it came time to pick i picked this short card gasser so many as you know here in the united states we don't get to see short cards very often so this is gonna go with this one in the collection I might look at it again in a few years now this one I already opened I have another one open I think I did uh, a cracking video on my other channel and I found out that uh, Hot Wheels used the very first models they used for the Buick Grand National for this which is weird because they, they have stopped doing this. See, it's a two-part. You see the engine. I have an old video where I take this engine and put it into a Dodge uh, Hellcat. It's those, you know, in those days, there was no uh, demon yet, Dodge demon. So I did a very nice custom. Sadly, it was one of those customs that I sold on eBay. Oh, uh, if I only had those customs back, I have a very hard time selling my stuff, then I miss it. And that's going to be it for today, guys. Here's the, the Jeep and the Impala. I'm going to try to start working on that uh, video tonight. Maybe it'll come out Sunday night or Monday. We'll see what happens. I doubt it tomorrow. Hey, mate week. So that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. Peace out.